Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match review. This is for the game between India and Bangladesh. Another game that would be played at Adelaide Oval, and we have Nikhil Bai with us today to shower his thoughts across what's been happening across previous games and then to look at the game ahead. Bikul, the immediate thoughts are to flush the games out of your system. Uh, predominantly because it's very important in fantasy whenever you don't have a good game to mm. identify the right reasons. Now, mm. was it an undue risk on a player? Was it something that you could not comprehend happening? A uh, Hale scoring when uh, we, we had him in the base team, but still Hale scoring as a, as opposed to David Mala, who is averaging 60, which is mm. doesn't get to bat. And uh, then you see a drop catches. Other Lashi who creates chances, but they're not taken. Sam mm. Curran takes wickets, which is fair. Chris Wos is taking wickets in second innings. Can you comprehend that? No. Can Williamson playing a 40 ball 40 in the chase of 180? No. So it's up to you. Eventually, you know mm. why you made the team and what was the logic. So as long as there was logic to it, I think it's important to forget the game and start afresh because you can't let that affect your mind when you're making a fresh team because then we'll probably end up making the same mistake or probably end up taking the same mm. risk in the same team. So I think just a bad. I wouldn't even call it bad. It is probably a horrible day, the last one, mm. but it's okay. It's bad. It's bad. You can't win. Thankfully, the World Cup has seen better games. Right. Absolutely. Not been one of those tournaments which have had aberrations day after day. Yeah. But first up, before we look at the pitch report, I have to announce the winner of the jersey yep. giveaway. The person who predicted the lowest points, Akshar Chaturvedi, David Malan, four points. There was a, a tie in the real game where both Malan and Mitchell got just seven points each. But uh, this is the closest answer and no one has guessed Daryl Mitchell. So, deservedly the winner. So, please do DM I did, us. I, huh? did, but it, I but it was in Grand League session. So, was David Malan. So, yeah. That's okay. So, means. one extra jersey to Nikhil Bhai for that. But uh, please. please do DM us your... Uh, uh, winner, your rather your address details and contact details on the Fantasy Quick Pro DM, and we'll take it from there. So many congrats to you, and now let's look at what pitch report we have in store for this specific game. Like you can see, is going to be played at the Adelaide Oval. Adelaide Oval, known for shorter square boundaries and longer straight boundaries. So yes, you may say that the Pacers would be able to make better use of these dimensions than spin where the ball can be dinged around towards the square boundaries, but that could also be a temptation towards many rash shots. To that and also, just be very careful, teams are not able to adapt in time. Uh, hmm. We saw the same mistake happening with Sri Lanka when they played Australia in Perth. Uh, the same mistake was done by Afghanistan when they played uh, in the game against Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka also out on the wrong side quite a few times though. Hmm. It takes time for teams to adapt as well to conditions. So you could potentially see, okay, okay I feel a new ball we can come. But hmm. like, it, like it happened with the uh, biggest example is Zimbabwe and Pakistan. Pakistan had two full up top to Zimbabwe and they got off like six, seven boundaries in the first few hours. So it's not about less the, the boundaries, but it, it, in terms of getting them off the hook. So that hmm. is the thing that can also happen that you can visualize that okay, India Bangladesh hai. So maybe Taskin should be able to get the good uh, reward from the day given his recent form. Or length hit the karte or marvi has it. So that is this that is the thing that you have to take care of. That at least still my kind of form wale is better. Right, Bilkul. Not like the catches are being taken of differential bowlers, but Yes, that is also an opportunity for you to take some crazy risks in the tournament leaderboard by making multiple teams because that is your best chance to get a big prize not only in the Grand League but across the whole tournament. Bilkul. And just to make it more clear, it is not that you want to do and cry over what is gone, but it is hmm. a handy uh, explainer to your own mind because I think as much as we can say, fantasy is still a very mental game. It is how hmm. you are thinking about the game and how much of the past is lingering on you. So when you know things like this can happen, which is why I am bar bar bol raha hai, okay, ek base team banao aur usme rotations karo taki wo rotations aapki jam bacha le. Agar aisa koi din hota hai jahan pe aapke base team ke captain as captain nahi chal rahe, par agar rotation mein aapne risk liya aur wo chal jata hai, to wo will help you not just recover that amount, 
फिर आपके लीडर बोर्ड में भी वो आपको आगे लेके जाएंगे तो आई थिंक थिंक ऑफ इट इन मोर वेज देन वन और बाकी तो देखो गाड़ी तो बुला रही है तो प्लीज मेक मल्टीपल कॉम्बिनेशन यू विल रैंक बेटर इन एवरी द वर्ल्ड right absolutely so take full advantage of that and now let's see what base team we have for this game so this game we have we are backing the batters after the while but this is that sort of game where you don't want to take a risk on any indian batter because bangladesh are that sort of bowling team that on one day they'll bowl three jaffers up top and another day they'll not find uh, the ball hitting the pitch for six balls in a row so yeah uh, we have to back uh, the indian batting because most of them have shown glimpses of good form and maybe this is also the game where kl rahul is able to find his own ho sakta hai bilkul aap dekhe to sidha sidha vice captain wohi banda hai jisko jiske naam pe stadium bhi kar sakte ho aap so wahan pe koi doubt nahi hai the thing with the rest of the batting is indians play a lot of games at adelaide you hmm. will think they know the conditions inside out and with bangladesh it is always going to be about what's their mindset and of sakib in the press conference said we are not here to win the world cup if we win india it will be an upset now i don't know how to, what to make of it but a lot of people will say that that's a very negative mindset but then what can you take out from that in terms of fantasies you don't know the kind of changes they might make to their side so they could hmm. either be fooling around and still come very hard at the team tomorrow which i'm sure they will but it just tells you that maybe that is where you can catch them off guard as well that uh, mm. what if india make a change what if rishabh pant plays or if dk is not uh, fit enough so all these calls can then differentiate your 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 sides because otherwise you see for bangladesh there it's been four to five guys only who have done consistently well over over a period of time so that is mm. something that you can look look up to aur abhi ke liye das dada hain upar jo acche se khel rahe hain kafi games mein to unko back kar raha hai बैटिंग पूरा टॉप ऑर्डर ले लिया है और आफिफ हुसैन हुज बिन द सिंगल मोस्ट ब्राइटेस्ट स्टार ऑफ देम नजमुल हुसैन शान तो कैन डू द जॉब इज वेल बट अगेन वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग अ न्यू बॉल विकेट तो जैसे हमने इंडिया साउथ अफ्रीका के गेम में भी कहा था कि नए बॉल से विकेट जाती हैं तो विच इज वाई वी बैक द काइंड ऑफ डेविड मिलर एंड इट केम गुड फॉर द फैंटेसी एटलीस्ट तो दैट इज द लॉजिक आपके भी गेम में लॉजिक रखो बैक करो फिर आगे जो जो होगा वो तो वैसे भी हमारे आते right absolutely and in the all rounders we have gone with shakib and hardik again we are expect hardik did bowl his full quota in the last game and at adelaide we don't find a reason why he should not bowl it again obviously ashwin can be important with the number of left handers that bangladesh have but if hoda continues to play and pant is the next replacement we don't know if hoda will be used much because square boundaries are shorter so if that is the case then we expecting pandya to bowl full quota again and we have backed him and the three bowlers we have gone with are all pace because like we mentioned we are expecting pace to rule the roost on such a ground but knowing how it has been in the last few days you it might just be that day all the pacers have the economy and all the wickets go to spin very much possible iske liye jaise apne kaha please be very sure of the combination uh taskin form pe hai arshdeep form pe hai mohammad shami form pe you could hmm. easily replace one of them one of the batter with guri if you feel guri will take new ball wickets you could easily replace one of the batters or the bowler with mustafiz or if he is you think if you think wo pehle bowling karte wicket lenge because he is hmm. bowling well but not taking wickets par ek din aayega ab wo din wohi hai jab aapne nahi liya hai to usse acha hai ki multiple combination isliye hum dete banane ko taki you are covered in that sense so abhi ke liye this is a fairly common base team captain thoda tricky hai uh, in hardik uh, hmm. again kyunki short boundary ka advantage bhi ho sakta hai disadvantage bhi ho sakta hai बट इससे ज्यादा सेफ प्लेयर अभी सिर्फ शाकिब है तो आई थिंक कॉमन ऑप्शन शाकिब और हार्दिक ही रहेंगे तो यू कैन गो गो एड विद हुएवर यू फील कैन डू द जॉब right absolutely and lot of off spinners in bangladesh so india will try to use the short boundary as much as they can and if pant plays they don't be surprised if he's pushed up as a match up against shakib so they have left and right both sides to cover for those boundaries so that wraps up the base team for us now let's look at what real grand league options we have for this game Please sir, you go first. Okay, I will go first because I have some sporadic options for this game from uh, India. I think Rishabh Pant, if he plays, will be my grand league choice. If he bats first, 
if india is uh, bowling second and if pant is not playing then my temptation will be towards ashwin because with bangladesh you know that they can play rash shots at any point and i won't be surprised if they continue to play and miss against pace and then just uh, give it all away, away to the lone spinner and from bangladesh it is uh, practically from bangladesh everyone is a grand league choice but if bangladesh bowl first then hasan mehmood hasan mehmood okay great uh my two choices are fairly one is fairly obvious is right in rohit sharma uh hmm. we've seen rohit uh, having some soft corner for bangladesh uh, so there is no shortage of even even if it's a handy 20 ball 30 or a 15 ball 40 i don't i don't mind that uh hmm. even i would love to have a 15 ball 40 though but uh, so rohit sharma is the first grand league pick purely because hmm. of the amount of risk that he's taking uh i hope he goes into a period where he's also more calculative because you don't you know rohit is a much better batter than trying to go after every ball so hmm. that is the one first pick from india and from bangladesh i will somehow somehow sarkar finds his way to be in the events uh, so he is not bold much but in a, in a side that has too many spinning options and all into the batters for india hmm. somehow sarkar could really just I mean bold yeah two overs and he could potentially even bowl at the end agar kisi ek bowler ko padi hai pehle to so again very very risky choice but that's what hmm. the are about right and maybe bangladesh also plan to bring extra an extra bowler in this game because they have yeah. too many part time off spinners which might not yeah. be of too much use against india so yes let's see how that goes and uh, watch out for the weather it is supposed to be around for both games we hope that all of you have a good set of games thank you so much for tuning in thank you have a good game guys take care and yes i have not forgotten the jersey giveaway yes. question it is uh, for this time it's going to be on bangladesh so simple prediction or maybe not so simple prediction is who is going to be bangladesh's highest pointer for this specific game and uh, whoever gets that right gets this pretty little jersey so yes all you need to do predict highest pointer of bangladesh player name slash points fastest first and closest without any multiple or edited comments wins fairly simple thank you so much guys have a great game